Here's a Samsung Galaxy S tip for you. I'm going to show you how to manage the photos and videos that you've taken on your device. So you've taken a bunch of photos with, say, your camera. We're going to go ahead and open up the app drawer and come into the gallery. This is where all of your photos and videos are going to live on your device. Now, currently I'm in the categories view, and there are a few different views that we have. If I tap in the top left-hand corner, you see I have time, albums, and events. Now, categories is something that the actual phone itself is doing, which is kind of neat. So I have pictures, which is going to show me just all the photos. I have videos, which just shows me all of the videos I have on my device. And then what it's actually done is taken a couple of my photos, and it thinks that it's food. So for example, tap on the food, and here I have a photo of a water bottle. So the camera itself is automatically determined that that's food. There is no way for me to actually organize these by myself. It just finds what's in the photo and puts it into a category that it thinks it is. It's kind of wonky if you ask me, but nonetheless, there are categories in here that I can view. Tap categories and we'll come into time. And this is going to sort everything on my device by the time it was taken. So it doesn't matter where it was, when it was, all that matters is the time that it was taken and it's sorting everything by time. Come into albums and we have albums. Now the phone itself makes some albums by default, such as camera. That's just gonna be all the photos I'm taking with my camera. I have download, which is stuff I've downloaded from say Google Chrome or the internet browser. And then some applications have created their own down at the bottom. And then screenshots will be put into their own album as well. Now I can also organize photos into their own albums by tapping more, then tap create album. Give your album a name, and then you can select photos in the next stage to actually put into that album. We'll go ahead and cancel out of there. Now come back up to albums. We'll tap events now, which is going to be the last category we're going to look at. Now events are going to come in handy. Now let's just say your child had a birthday party and you wanted to organize all the photos and videos that you took at that birthday party into one event. Tap the more button, tap create event, and now you can select from all of the photos and videos on your device to put into one grand event that you can then share with all your friends and family members right from your device. And then you can always come back in the top left hand corner and go to any one of these viewing methods. Now as an added bonus, if you're in the camera, so we'll open up our camera, and you tap in the bottom right hand corner, these are going to show you your most recent photos from your camera. So you can swipe through and view all the photos that you've taken with your device. And if you also come back into the camera, another feature, swipe right to left and you'll be able to come into this menu and view all the photos as well.